This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Valheim video. Today we're going to talk about how to build in glass. Let's get to it. All right, so as you can see here, I have two examples of building in glass. If we walk in here, this one's built in glass and just has the pillars going along the outside. And if we come over here to this one, you can see that we have iron bars running through the glass ever so often. So glass mechanics are a little strange, but uh, we're gonna talk about them and I'm gonna do my best to explain how it works so that you can build in glass. All right, so I have some foundations set up here because you gotta start, of course, with some foundations to build off of. Now, when you grab the glass block and you go to place it, you'll notice that you can place beside of it, but you can't place beside of it if you're connected to it. So you can see the little yellow square there. If I'm facing to the side of the block, I can't actually connect to it. So you can't connect anything to these blocks. You can't build off of them. So if you see here, if I try to build off of it in any way with anything, I can't even hang like stuff on it like this. Like you can't even use the item stand on it. However, if I look down and I place it down connected to the foundation, I can place it with no problem. This also means that because you can't connect anything to it, you cannot place on top of it. It shows up blue if you highlight it over it, if we swap to this, you can see it has structure support, but you still cannot place anything on top of it. Now, what is interesting is you can attach the glass to any surface. So while you can't attach anything to the glass surface, you can attach the glass surface to anything else. If you take a look here, I can place glass all over just randomly on this, it's kind of hard to see when you look up too. It goes blurry for me, it's really weird, but there you go. You can see now that we're looking straight forward that I have it placed all over the pillar with no problem. The other thing that is interesting is if we place another pillar and I place some pillars going, or some beams going across the, the top of it, and I grab the, the wall, you can see that I can place the crystal wall hanging, but I can only place it hanging one because that's connected to a structure piece. I cannot place another one, and I know it's blurry. There's nothing I can do about it. It just does that for some reason. Uh, it's buggy, early access game. So anyway, uh, can't place it below. It will not connect to it the same way that we can't connect to it in any other situation. But that's the mechanics to it, and knowing those mechanics, we can do some creative things to build in glass. Now, one of the ones that I like, and one of the ones that's going to give you the most freedom, is to build your frame out of the single iron cage wall. Now, this is only one iron a piece, and I know it's gonna get expensive, but I'm gonna show you some other things that you can do if you don't wanna spend a bunch of iron on it. But basically, you only have to have one every two blocks. So if I place one here like this, and then I can place blocks on the side of it, and I can place the block directly on it. Now, do not fill in when you're building like this, don't fill in the center until you're all done. Because when you do that, you may have problems connecting. I, I mean, you can still get it, but it's a little finicky. So you can see here, it's kind of blinking in and out. And if I position it just right, I can, I can get it. But if I do not build those and I build the outside pieces that are connected to it first, if I can actually see here, you can see it just snaps right in there super easy. Now, once again, you can get it if you have the pieces already built. It's just much easier if you wait and build those last. So now that I have this, I can build a set out here like this, and then I can skip one and go right here would be my next iron pieces. So I would connect those, and I know my frame would be there, and then that will allow me to fill in this gap here, and then that'll allow me to go like this and build the pieces there and then I would have another iron piece here and I think you get you get the idea here so you can build your well technically I would not have it there I would have it here uh, because I can connect them to this side like so so then once I have that laid out and I have my frame and iron laid out then I can go back through and I can build in glass and just fill those in. And then I like the way this looks. I like the way this looks better than the other styles, but maybe you don't want iron 
running through it and you want as much glass as possible. So in order to accomplish that, we can use the hanging technique. Now for this, you just need a normal frame. You don't need anything too crazy, but your frame can't be too high. So you have to build your frame like this. Now this would be two like this. So I don't mean it can't be like too high. It has to only be too high, but it can't be like too high. You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, yeah, words. So anyway, you can build it like this, but you can see here now I can't, well, we're going to lag. I can't put one here, but because we only built it too high, now I can go back through with these pieces and let's just delete that and I can build the beams across here. And now I can go in and build a solid wall like this across the bottom. And then we can look up and attach it to the underside of these beams. Now you might have to kind of position yourself a little finicky or get underneath of it. But if we get close enough to where I can see the bottom of it, you can see I can place the blocks or the, the wall, small wall, whatever, they, the glass pieces inside like that. There we go. And after a little bit of finagling around in there, I got it. Now we have a too high glass wall. Now you don't have to use the beams. I did not use the beams up here. So uh, what I did up here, and I'll just show you up here instead of rebuilding it, is I just use the floor pieces, the ceiling, whatever these pieces are, just use the floor pieces. You can see what I did here. So I built the beams straight up and then I did the second floor with these and then I just connected the glass pieces to the floor and then on the next tier I did the same thing I just connect I looked down connected them to the floor like this and then I connected this row to these beams that you see here going around the top now this gives you much more of a full glass wall look now you do have to have the beams going up the side because you have to essentially create a framework for it to work because if i delete these beams then the glass itself cannot hold the beams that are going across the top that it is connected to up there so if i was to delete these then the the glass would fall so you do have to have the corners done but you only have to have the corners done uh, with this. Now, if you were building something huge, you would probably have to have these ever so often in order to make sure that the top beams or the beams across the top and the floor beams are supported. Now, that isn't everything that can support the glass structures. You can actually use signs as well. So if we stack some signs here, the, the thing I don't like about the signs is they don't snap, so it's hard to get them lined up properly but we can place a few and I can demonstrate how it works just so you all might be able to get more creative with it than me. But if I look directly at the signs, I can place them on the signs like so. So uh, that's going to leave an inside thing here where you could probably do something just like two thick walls or I don't know. I don't know what you want to do, but it does work and you can build it on the signs however you want. You can also stack the signs inside of it as you see here, and then you can go back over to your wall and place your wall like this as long as you're touching the signs. Then you would have the signs inside of it. Let me delete this. And you can see... How that looks there so you can have the signs inside of it i don't like that but i'm just giving you options and the same thing goes with the item stands you can stack item stands and do the same thing so if i just stack a bunch of item stands there and we come back over to the wall i can put it there i can put it there and then i can look and snap it right in there to the item stands like that so that'll work as well you could create a frame out of just the item stands that also gives you you can see here that the item stands are on the inside here so i could use those item stands for something else another option you can do is similar to like we did with the iron bars but you can use the pillars instead so you can take the pillars and if we have the pillars going like this we can connect them like so so then every every two you can place a pillar that's gonna that may or may not be the look you're looking for but it is still an option that you can do so then you basically have large panes of glass running up and down instead of across like you do with this setup here now if you build with the pillars like this and you put them on on the corners of your base and then you run the wall 
across the bottom and you wanna be able to run the wall across the top, but you want something small and you don't wanna do a full floor. You can also do the little tiny floors here. So if we run these across here and then we come below, you can see the little tiny floors work the same as the larger floors. Now these are, since these are much smaller, you could do something where you run them too thick, like you see here. And that also creates a pretty interesting look because then you just have that little tiny thin strip on the inside that isn't super noticeable unless you're like right up on it. From a distance though, it, uh, let's see if we can get back here. From a distance, you just see that tiny little strip across the center there, even inside, because when you look at it, it kind of gets blurry. It's not super noticeable unless you're just looking straight in on it. Now, I was trying to find something smaller to attach, attach these to, and I was really hoping torches would work because torches would look absolutely phenomenal if they were completely encased in the glass. However, you can encase them in the glass, but they do not work as something that gives support. You can't really, you can't attach anything. You can't attach the glass. You can't even attach pillars. If you take a look here, the pillars don't even work. So I was a little disappointed to find that out. And then the item stands work phenomenally well and hide pretty well if you place them like this and then you place the glass on them because the glass covers up a majority of the texture. The only problem with them is stacking them. And also you run into a problem like you see here where I can't connect it to this side. So now I have to delete this one first, then look at it, then it'll let me connect it. And then I can connect that side there. Um, but yeah, you can, you, it's just the thinnest little strip of wood there with the item stand. So maybe a mixture of all of the stuff. And actually if I place that, well, no, I guess that's about as good as we're gonna get it. We could place it too thick here like this and just have it really close together and just have a, a thick chunky wall like that. And it's disguised relatively well in there. And that would work phenomenally if you don't mind placing the item stands and trying to stack them perfectly. If they snapped, I would say this would be the way to go, but unfortunately they do not, which makes them an absolute pain in the butt. All right, well, hopefully you found this video helpful and informational. I know this one was requested many times. People wanted to know how to build in glass. Hopefully this helps those people. If you build something awesome, consider joining the Discord channel and posting your awesome glass builds or any of your builds for that matter in the Valheim chat. I'd be interested to see them. And if you did find this video helpful, consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't done so already. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. I want to give an absolutely massive shout out and thank you to my supporters on Patreon for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my Leaker Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.